Talking to the Dead, Chapter 25. Today we're going to talk about really noticing the difference between the witness or awareness and consciousness, the one seeming to play out in awareness. And I know these two things, these labels, these words, get used universally, yet they're two very distinct energies worth noting and looking at. Because the looking at and noticing the confusion clears the confusion. That is the key in. It's not anything other than this. So let's just imagine awareness being all of this. For this discussion, it's blackness, darkness, a never-ending abyss. Even stating that, I realize the listener may try to put content of fear on top of that visualization. So I'm stating that perfectly in the intention to not do that and just be with the concept for a moment. Hear it out without any of your own injection of content on top of it. Just by being aware when thoughts arise as we're speaking to this, to let them pass through. In this darkness, in this abyss that is boundless, it is all, it's everything. Everything we've ever thought about, experienced, dreamt about, envisioned, idealized, conceived, heard about, been, seem to have been, seem to have not been, time, space, every illusion, it's all of it. It knows nothing of duality. The yin, the yang, the sin, the goodness don't exist here because there is no one or another. It's all of it. We refer to this as God. We refer to this as the universe. We refer to this as nothingness. Yet everything at all is contained in it. To know itself is impossible. So there's no personalization here. It has no expression no desire, no interest, no needing anything. It is the most loving, peaceful, beloved space, and yet it's not a space. It's not a place to be reached. It's not a space to attempt to get to. No effort is needed because it's always been the backdrop of all. Any desire to reach it will of course keep us from it. For that which you are cannot be known you are it. Yet, 
it as all recognizes any interest in knowing itself requires separation requires duality requires personalization it needs an I to know itself yet there's no interest no desire for that to happen the spontaneous interest which appears to have self driven spontaneously erupts or bursts into the eye and that is what we call consciousness now this other this me is able to know itself but not as all of it which it's been but as part of it which it wishes to experience to know what it's like to have an arm a leg love its opposite light its opposite destruction its opposite and so on the only way to resume that peacefulness of awareness that we call God is by the exploration of the confusion leading us away from that which we are exploring every confused thing brings us closer back to that which we are it's why we've said here multiple times it's not a learning it's not getting something to come back to something it's questioning everything that's led us away from that which we are every thought every belief every condition now stay with this in the allness of it the awareness that we call God close your eyes for a minute and breathe into that I am I am I am anything that comes after I am will lead you away from it so imagine this blackness having a little map marker poked into it and this little version of yourself the eye standing upon the tip of that marker in the abyss there's nothing here but this marker and you standing atop it with your hand above your brow looking in all directions seeing absolutely nothing the foot keeps moving to go and step somewhere and there's fear there's nothing there I am the foot goes out nothing there I am it rotates on the tip of that marker with the foot again ready to go out 
and there's nothing there. Stay here. I am. And anything that tries to get a space for it to step on is leading you away from that which you are. Notice that. Spend time with that for a little bit. Anything that tries to fill in that blank after I am is leading you away from that which you are. Move through the day inquiring that confusion. I am a girl. That's a thought. Get back on the tip of the prick. I am. I am the one speaking. Get back on the tip of that map prick. I am. I am living this earth. Put the foot back. I am. I am. I am. Spend a few days really, really looking at the confusion of this confusion. That will begin to do itself. Once that truly takes hold, you will recognize you aren't even the I am. You are in fact what precedes even that. This is very, very deep and meaty work. This is not a one and done Listen to it, set it aside, and keep moving. This is where the unraveling takes hold and everything else comes together. I am. I. I. I, I. Much love until next time.